Assalamu alaikum dear students good morning this is Ali Hassan and today we are going to discuss on lesson number one called last the last sermon of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam dear students here we have got the main points of uh, the lesson number one first of all let's know about holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in 571 AD at Makkah. You know the points to remember. When was Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam born? 571 AD. And where was he born? At Makkah. Number two. He belonged to the noble family of Quraysh. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was from Quraysh family and there were one lake 24,000 prophets sent by Allah Almighty and Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Wasallam was the last of the prophets his number was the last Khatam al Nabiji Holy Prophet Wasallam is also called Khatam al Nabijin, the last of the prophets. Yes, and God sent the prophets for proper you know, guidance of the mankind. Holy Prophet وسلم, asked the Quraysh not to worship their false gods. Quraysh used to worship idols, and Holy Prophet peace be upon him asked them not to worship their false gods. He asked them to accept Islam and worship the one and only true God. As Quraysh used to worship the idols and the Holy Prophet peace be upon him asked the Quraysh that worship the one and only true God. Not to worship the false God, not to worship the idols. Then what did Quraysh do? They refused to accept Islam. They thought, they thought by preaching Islam, Holy Prophet is against their gods and their ancestors. So therefore, they refused to accept Islam. Yes. And in the result, as they refused to accept Islam, they thought that this new faith is against their ancestors against their belief against their gods and then what exactly they did they troubled the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they gave holy prophet peace be upon him much agni and lot of troubles and then holy prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked his believers to migrate to madina holy prophet peace be upon him decided to migrate to madina in 622 ad the Prophet وسلم, migrated to Medina with his faithful friend Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. 622 AD. When Holy Prophet peace be upon him migrated to Medina, 622 AD. He asked his believers to migrate to Medina as you know the there was a bitter opposition of the uh, of the Quraysh to towards the Muslims. So therefore. They caused uh, Holy Prophet peace be upon him and the Muslims much agony and lot of troubles. Yes, they went to Medina. The old, the old name of Medina was Yasrab. This is called Yathrab. Yasrab. A city 320 20 kilometers from Mecca. Yasrab. Medina was 320 kilometers from Mecca. He formed an Islamic society based on three principles. Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, as soon as Holy Prophet, peace be upon reached Medina, he formed an Islamic society based on three principles. What are those three principles? Number one, there is no God but Allah. There is no God except Allah. There is only one God, Allah. None shares his authority and power. Means he's only one God. Number two, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Holy Prophet, is his prophet. Means Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his prophet. 
second principle third all the muslims are brother to one another all the muslims are brother to one another this was the islamic society that was based on third principle that holy prophet peace be upon him founded yes in madina there were four it's not four f o u r this is a mistake by mistake f o u r four four groups in madina number one muslims including those they came from uh, makkah muslims number two hypocrites hypocrites are the people double faced people they just pretend to become muslims but they were actually not okay and then two tribes aus and khizrij number four the jews there four groups were in madina and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted a peaceful city here in madina therefore he just joined all the groups together so that there should that the peace should be maintained in the city dear students the rest of the lesson we discuss will discuss in the next lecture if you got any question regarding these points do ask me thank you so much